welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am i am chelsea you know what this camera is stressing the hell out of me like i've been shooting this, this is a test shot of course i'm using my back camera and i can see myself so from my title and my thumbnail we are going to do a little ted talk about redefining your thoughts in 2024 if you've set goals for 2024 that is cool if you've not that is also cool take it day by day mostly people that set goals not everybody is able to achieve them so don't feel that you've not set goals so that means you're not going to do anything for yourself i have not set goals i have my goals in my head i've not written them down one thing i want to keep up with which is a goal is to keep up with the gym and um, to keep up with school to keep up with work to save and other things so the first thing we're going to talk about is do not be in a competition with anyone do not feel any of your friends are competitions if your friend or someone is doing better than you see them as an inspiration instead of a competition because seeing them as a competition what does that do to you you don't have to be envious of your friends, envious of what someone has achieved. Aim to be like them or be better too. If you have a phone, if you have a good phone, and then you use the phone to just watch people on social media without doing anything. Oh, I don't know what you're doing, ma'am. Why do you have a phone and then all you do on the phone is watch people you don't use it to do youtube create content do something on instagram go outside take pictures create a portfolio on your instagram and can be a lifestyle blogger um a photographer with just your phone like don't waste your data use your data to do something instead of just using your data to watch people creating content is very easy editing it's stressful but creating the content it's so freaking easy you don't have to do anything you can just you like you know even cooking is content walking is content eating is content flipping your hair is content sitting and studying is content everything is content if you want it to be if you see all these lifestyle bloggers or fashion whatever if they are dressing up they take videos of it they edit they post don't just be watching me make use of the internet people have been seeing that people are making money on the internet i've been doing youtube for four years and i have not been monetized yet i'm almost there I'm giving myself about three four months i should be monetized but do i sometimes want to quit yes sometimes i feel all my effort is going into vain but am i going to quit no if i quit then why did i start keep doing what you do find something you love on the internet any of the apps social media apps and make use of it don't just be watching people three is saving you can ask my friends they know me i save anytime i get some money I put some down i have a box behind the camera that i'm saving from the tips i get from starbucks and stuff like i've been saving since last year but now i'm gonna keep it till the end of the year and then i'll make a video of it at the end of the year to show you guys how much i made and sometimes i get to braid people's hair i've made up my mind that i'm not going to touch all that money like i will take some out of it but not everything but for the coins i'm keeping everything and the papers i get from breeding sometimes i'll be keeping some of them and at the end of the year i'm going to count and let you guys know how much i made for 2024 so no matter how broke i get i will never be on zero not even on a hundred like i am never on a zero because i save a lot when i was coming to canada i used my savings my parents didn't have money my mom didn't have money crispy paid my flight as you all know if you've not seen that video you can check it out my trip from ghana to canada 
but the money i used to pay my rent my feeding it was my own money i didn't have any money so if you should save like it should be your goal number one goal if you get 20 cities put five cities down if you get two cities put 50 pesos down if you get one naira put 50 bobo or something down never spend all your money next point is do not put all your hopes on one person I have been disappointed so many times because I put my hope on people even though it's not like I couldn't get them down myself especially if it's about money like I'm always one step ahead I'm always a step ahead like always be a step ahead I've done that I've put my hope in people and I've been disappointed so many times but now I don't want to do that anymore because it's just heartbreaking to feel that oh this person is going to help me and then it comes out and then they are not able to help you you feel so sad you feel so bad you feel so disappointed you may even cry and that is okay crying is okay i cry a lot i like crying and when i cry i feel so relieved and last point is start going to the gym we don't know what a gym does you like it makes you feel so confident there's this i know i'm a nice person i'm very pretty like i'm so beautiful but going to the gym has given me some confidence like i don't want to gain weight i'm not saying being fat is a bad thing like it's a choice you can choose to be fat or be big but i don't want that so i used to wonder when i was in shs university i was always taking apetamine taking blood tonic just to gain weight but when i came i realized that if i myself i can gain so much weight and i don't want that so now i hit the gym i don't go regularly for like a couple of months because i got hit by a car but now i started two days ago and i'm feeling so much body pains but that is normal it's good pain it's sweet pain so if you can if you can't go to the gym if you can't pay to go to the gym you can train in your room which is very difficult to keep up with because you feel so lazy so me going to the gym helps me the next point is change the way you think i know most of us have this thought that sometimes your mind will make you feel down like it's not you it's your it's in your head you feel you are breaking down you feel you are not doing well you feel you are a failure i am in that category myself our brains like my brain is always doing bad like thinking about worst things that can happen like what if you're going and then someone hits you or someone shoots you like always my mind is thinking of bad things like bad things that will happen to me i don't know why i'm trying to work on it so i don't know if there's someone else out there like me who always has the brain processing bad things <laughs> Or bad things happening to them but tune your mind to good things you deserve all the good things that is coming your way or that is already on their way or it's currently happening every good thing that is happening to you is because you deserve it you are not a failure you are doing your best if you are doing something keep up with it if it fails it doesn't matter do it again this time do it better i applied to another school i didn't apply to just university of waterloo when i was coming here i applied to university of maine and one other school in the u.s i don't really remember i didn't hear from university of maine that one i think i didn't pay for that but it was free application i didn't pay for application fee i never heard from them you waterloo i did it and I wasn't even expecting to hear from them because it was masters in statistics. And I heard from them, you know, if I had quit, I wouldn't be here. You don't quit when something fails. Then, are you calling yourself a failure or a quitter? No, we don't quit over here, baby. I am not a quitter. Like, those who know me know me. I'll, I'll be doing it. I'll be quiet about it, but I'll still be doing it. Listen, I don't quit because I don't have anyone to fall on and that's the thing there are some of us 
there are some of you that if you fall right now you can fall on your parents you can fall on your dad you can fall on your mom if i fall i fall on the ground flat no one is going to hold me so i cannot quit i cannot fail i have to succeed there are so many plans so The next point is, I'm going to end this video very soon, is to go outside if you can. Some of you are in your rooms, always in your room, you don't go out because you expect someone to take you out. You have to go outside. You meet people when you go outside. Do you understand? Go outside, enjoy yourself, life is short. And there is, this, there is this thing that I do anytime I get paid on Friday. Whenever you get paid, I know some of us have responsibilities. You have to send money to this, you have to buy this, you have to pay fees, you have to do this. But whenever you get paid, take money out of that pay and then buy something for yourself. Something that you feel like eating or if it's pizza, buy pizza. If it's a band that you saw that you wanted to get for yourself, buy it. But still remember to save that is very important take some to save then buy something nice for yourself whenever you receive your paycheck don't put everything in savings because you worked for it so if you work for something you should enjoy the fruit of your labor so if you work and then you get paid buy something nice for yourself buy something you've always wanted if it's food if it's taking yourself out if it's getting a drink if it's do something nice for yourself you deserve it because you worked hard for it and this is 2024 next year is 2025 set goals achieve them you don't have to write them down it can be in your head mine is in my head what i want to do is in my head but i'm going to achieve them always go out enjoy the sun because if you come to canada you will get the sun only three months I never thought there was going to be a time that I'll see the sun and I'll be so excited that oh I, I saw sun like go out have fun be in love you find someone that loves you keep it don't watch someone's relationship and think that oh my boyfriend is we are all in that category I am in that category I am telling myself this too and comparing yourself to people's relationship if you find someone that is good for you you find a woman that is good for you stick to them don't cheat on them especially the men stick to one person love live enjoy thank you for coming to my TED talk guys if you like videos like this let me know i enjoyed doing this i love this maybe i should actually consider being a motivational speaker thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this i'll come your way same time next week I love you all especially those that are always commenting on my post i love your comments like you guys should comment on my post share my videos tell your friends about me okay. thank you Bye.